Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, we are going to look at the Reef Knives F4. This here is a bushcraft style knife, full four finger grip, beautiful little chunk of 3V and just an awesome offering from Reef Knives. Now in a prior video, we did look at the F6, the bigger brother in quite a bit of detail. This was a stellar stellar performer and i say was it is this knife absolutely performs and i think that's definitely going to be the case here with the mid-sized brother the f4 now there is also the f3 model it's more of an edc style knife but this one here that sweet spot that nice belt knife the sort of and i would say larger than edc style knife but definitely capable if you wanted to carry this around as a good quality belt knife you could certainly do so. Bring it on your bushcraft tasks. Use it for your camping applications. A little bit of food prep. Really a do-everything style knife. And I think that's exactly what we're going to find here with the F4 from Reef Knives. So today, a detailed look at this. I have a whole bunch to do. And so with that said, do me a favor. Stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Reef Knives who did provide this for review. And so if you want a first look and first impressions of not just the F4, but also the F6 and also the F3, do me a favor, take a look back at one of my prior videos. And if you're interested in seeing how much crazy abuse this F6 took, I also have a full featured outdoor review. And I'm not gonna say abusing this, but I definitely put it through the paces. That leads me to my very first point, which is Reef Knives has done an amazing job with their 3V. The edge retention, the quality, the overall capabilities, phenomenal. Out of the box, the edge geometry is perfect. Just very nicely done. Out of the box, the comfort in the hand, the sculpting of the handles, and how the handles are perfectly married to the tang of the knife. Hard to beat. And then you add on top of that the fact that it comes with just such a wonderful perfect fitting kydex no rattle perfectly secure the knife is going nowhere awesome multi-position clip and then on top of all of that having that little ferro rod loop just awesome so the people at reef knives absolutely get it and i know this f4 is going to be a performer and so one of the things i'm going to point out right away is the fact that reef knives quite frankly they're not doing anything that hasn't been done before, but it's their execution. It's the way they do it. It's how they approach it. It's the combination of things that go into these knives that make them what they are, all the way from the fit and finish, the quality of the construction, the choice of materials, the ergonomics, it all comes into play. Now, I thought I'd demonstrate this just a little bit with some of the knives that I have here. Now, this is not completely apples and apples, but it does give you just some comparisons. So one of the things that I do wanna point out, the overall blade shape of the F4, very standard, nothing you haven't seen before. In fact, I'm gonna hold up my own uh, you know, this is my T17.4, which in many ways, the overall blade shape, very similar. And in fact, if you looked at like a Bradford Guardian, very similar as well. Standard in terms of what I would say a drop point design. Standard in terms of what I would say is that, uh, you know, high saber grind or two thirds saber grind the flat grind on the primary bevel into a nicely sized secondary grind. Everything about these knives, very similar in many ways. Now, where it starts to differentiate is when you start to get into the handles. You can see here on the F4, the handle is going to be a bit longer. And I would say in my particular case, really more in line with the length of the handle that I happen to put on my T17.5. So my five inch blade length with the longer handle, well, that's more in line with what you see on the F4. Now, another knife that in some ways, and if you talk about bushcraft, I mean, this here 
is a battle horse knife. Now, between battle horse and LT right, again, many similar styles, but the blade shape here, again, just so similar in so many ways and all the way through the fact that when you take a look at the overall thickness of the spine, I mean, you are getting into roughly a 530 seconds inch thick stock. So that's something worth considering. This is not a 3 16th. When we started on the F6, well, the F6 here, the bigger brother, that's a lot thicker being that 3 16 versus the 5 32nd. And that does a couple of things. First and foremost, it actually lightens up the knife just a bit, keeps it a little bit lighter. In this particular case, it's going to end up being a little more handle weighted and handle balanced, but pretty neutral, all things considered. I do have to come a little further back on the handle to find that midpoint on the balance, but that definitely leaves it nice and slicey. Being that two thirds height saber grind, it's not like a full flat grind, but you definitely get good slicing capability. Now, I'm not positive on that edge angle. I am going to really guess that that's. I'm going to say about 17 degrees if I had to guess. I'm not positive, but we'll check that real quick. Which as I throw this into my gauge and taking a look, it's actually a little bit wider. I'm going to say that's closer to 22 degrees. I was thinking it was more like 17. Let me check my T17, which as I get the T17 in there, that is... 16 degrees per side. So the T17 is going to be maybe just a little bit slicier, a little bit stouter here. Yeah, that's 22 degrees as I take a look there. So the F4 going to have a little bit of a stouter edge, uh, but you know, at the same time, I found the carving capability of the F6 to be phenomenal. And I would expect that's going to be the case with the F4 as well. Now, handle geometry and ergonomics, absolutely fantastic. You'll notice how perfect they've married the handle scales to the spine of the knife. Just phenomenally well done and nice and curvy and shapey and fits in your hand so incredibly well. And that leads me to the next example, which here is the Topps Tex Creek. But this one here is the sort of limited anniversary edition. And they did such a nice job with the comfort and the crafting of this handle, rounded out feeling really good in the hand. And again, that's what I'm saying about the reef F4. The fact that there's nothing in this knife that hasn't been done before, but it's the combination of things and the execution that works so well. So when you find a knife that has good quality edge geometry, blade shape and size, overall stock thickness in combination with a nice curvy, shapey handle that just melts into your hands, you're really talking. And in this particular case, beautifully done. Triple bolts across, you can see the bolt on handle slabs and a nicely chamfered and fluted lanyard hole. So you can see there, it definitely has the ability to take a lanyard and hopefully not chew up that lanyard the way they beveled that very nicely done. Very generous and just an awesome overall look. Now on top of all this, the 3V beautifully done. CPM 3V having awesome edge retention. This is definitely going to be harder to field sharpen, but if you're careful and you don't chunk an edge, you shouldn't have any issues with that. And if you go back again to the F6 video, well, if there was a knife that was going to have edge damage, this would have been the one. And this is literally, literally perfect after all of the hard use. So again, I do expect that would be the case with the F4, but with that, let's look at the edge in a little more detail. Now, as I get into this, I am leveraging a small handheld microscope and getting up onto the edge. Well, here you can see, I'm gonna do my best to rock this into the light, very tight and refined edge all the way down the blade. Anything you see on there at this point is like dust. It's not any sort of damage or any rolling or chipping. This edge is brandy, brandy new. And again, all the way down towards the tip. So 
very even, refined, and super sharp. As you can see, again, no digs, no dents, no chips, no rolls. We'll keep an eye on this after the field use. So far, very nice. Taking a look at the laser etching as I dial in the focus, here is the R in Reef. So you can see, nicely done with the laser etching. It's not burned. It's actually very nice. That means they got the heat right, they got the timing right, everything going very well. Sometimes laser etching can be burned, but this is nicely done, super sharp and detailed. Nicely done. Now one thing that caught me by surprise on the F6 is the fact that it does not have a sharpened spine, yet as we look at the F4, again you'll notice a little bit rounded out there, but it did a phenomenal job on the F6 actually scraping, and I'm curious how it will be on the F4. We'll take a look at that in detail. And so again, as we take a look at the Kydex in detail, very nicely done. Standard spacing on the rivets, that is a good thing. It allows you to use different attachments, allows you to use uh, maybe different clips if you so choose. And down the bottom here, there is a drainage hole. Now, keep in mind that this does come with a multi-position clip. And I say multi-position, it's like a rotational clip. So this is affixed into place. It looks like theoretically you could unbolt it if you want and remove it. Now, for me, I would probably just use this. I don't know if it's going to stay on here. I am going to use it and test it and try it and see how I like it. I do like the fact that it's multi-position. It does seem stiff, so if you wanted to rock the knife even on your belt, sort of scout style I feel like you might be able to get away with that if you rotate the clip carry it on your belt and yeah that should work so weak side cross draw that would be kind of nice I like that and then again the fact that this comes with the ferro rod holder is absolutely awesome I did want to highlight the box for just a minute because Reef Knives has done a wonderful job with their branding, with their colorways, and their overall presentation. I do like their logo quite a bit. These boxes are beautiful, and you'll see everything here made in the USA. Keep in mind, you are going to pay a little more money for a Reef Knife. However, made in the USA, these days, you absolutely have to take into consideration and on top of that your carry no cares warranty guaranteed for life so again something to be said for that now inside again the presentation continues where they say welcome to a higher standard i absolutely believe them that's what they're going for that's their mantra nicely done couple little simple things this did come wrapped up in a burlap bag again not a big deal for presentation but at the same time paying attention to the details nice little orange stitch here matching in with everything else they're doing nicely done just those little attention to details which does go a long way and then a morale patch so your pvc morale patch just beautifully done. I do have a couple of these. They're really nice and I do like it. Last but not least, and again, just very simple, but a nice large Reef Knives sticker. Nicely done, well made, just good overall attention to detail. You get quite a bit in this package. So again, you're going to spend a little bit more money, but when you consider the overall ergonomics, the choice of materials, and the fact that made in the USA with that guaranteed for life warranty, a reef knife is going to be one that you will really enjoy. And I know once we get this out for field use, this F4 is absolutely going to perform. And so, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at the Reef Knives F4 in a tabletop detailed review. Now, at this point, you haven't seen any of the field use. I'm going to mix things up a little bit. Typically, I would go into the field use on this particular video or I would do a part two. In this case, I'm going to do more shorts. I think I'm going to do small demonstrations of some techniques 
kind of mix things up a little bit, get a little bit of a different flavor in terms of my content and use this in a number of different ways. So I will have all sorts of field use leveraging this knife, but you're gonna have to pay attention, get some of those details and watch out for my shorts. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Reef Knives who did provide this for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.